Hey there guys, what's going on and welcome back to our channel. Due to the recent horrible tragedy at Travis's Astro World Festival last year, which resulted in the deaths of 8 people and countless injuries during his show, the upcoming album is now anticipated to be postponed. Travis has subsequently been served with a lawsuit in the wake of the deaths of numerous of his admirers as well as several injuries. Here's the best update we have on the Travis Scott tragedy. Number 9. What exactly happened during the concert? During Scott's set at 9.30pm, the sold out audience in Houston, Texas stormed the stage causing tremendous fear and hysteria as well as several injuries and fatalities. Number 8. Were there any people killed? At first, the Houston police stated that 8 concert goers had died and many more had been hurt. Attorney James Lasseter confirmed the death of a 22-year-old college student in the crowd during a news conference on November 11, increasing the total number of victims to 9. Ezra Blount 9 died on November 14 due to the injuries he sustained at the event, increasing the total death toll to 10. After being trampled on November 5th, Blount was kept in a medically induced coma, making him the youngest person to die from injuries at Astroworld. The Blount family tonight is grieving the incomprehensible loss of their precious young son. In a statement, the family's attorney, Benjamin Krupp, stated, This shouldn't have been the outcome of taking their son to a concert, what should have been a joyful celebration. Number 7. What did the cops come to? The investigation by the local police department is still underway as P is stated during the press conference and they intend to investigate what caused the issue of the crowd surge and what prevented people from being able to escape that situation. Number 6. Will Astroworld be revived? Although the festival was originally scheduled to be a two-day event, the organizers decided to cancel the second night on Saturday, November 6 due to the inquiry. Number 5. What has Travis Scott's reaction been? On Saturday, the rapper wrote, I'm absolutely devastated by what took place last night. My prayers go out to the families and all those impacted by what happened at Astroworld Festival. Houston PD has my total support as they continue to look into the tragic loss of life. I'm committed to working together with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. He wrote in his message, Thank you to Houston PD, Fire Department, and NRG Park for their immediate response and support. Love you all. Number 4. How did Houston security handle the situation? We had more security over there than we had at the World Series games, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner told the New York Times. The Houston Police Department provided hundreds of officers, in addition to what I'm told were 240 or 250 non-police security that was there. Number 3. Update on the investigation Following the tragedy, members of the House Oversight Committee announced in December 2021 that an investigation would begin, writing in a letter to Life Nation CEO Michael Rapino. Recent reports raised serious concerns about whether your company took adequate steps to ensure the safety of the 50,000 concert goers who attended Astroworld Festival. The tragedy at Astroworld Festival follows a long line of other tragic events and safety violations involving Live Nation. In response, the corporation issued a statement stating, Safety is core to live events and Live Nation engages in detailed security plan in coordination with local stakeholders involving law enforcement, fire and EMT professionals. We're heartbroken by the events at Astroworld and our deepest sympathies go out to the families and friends of the victims. Number 2. Travis Scott has lost several business deals. The rapper's cacti heart seltzers, which debuted in early 2021, have been discontinued by Anheuser-Busch. After careful evaluation, we've decided to stop all production and brand development of cacti agave spike seltzer. We believe brand fans will understand and respect this decision. On December 10th, the parent business said in a statement to Adage, Scott's work with Air Jordan was already postponed and Epic Games deleted his email from Fortnite. Number 1. What and how is Travis Scott doing now? Scott told Charlemagne that he was unaware of anything going wrong during the show in his very first interview after the incident. On Thursday, December 9th, the interview was made public on YouTube. In the interview, Travis was seen in public for the first time since the incident. Kylie Jenner, however, is hiding out with relatives in LA amid the uproar over the Astroworld tragedy, according to The Sun, exclusively published on November 17th. According to a source, 
the beauty entrepreneur, who is presently expecting her second baby with Travis, is receiving assistance from the Kardashian-Jenner family because she's concerned regarding her security. Travis is claimed to be an emotional roller coaster since the incident. He wants to learn more about what caused the fatalities and be a leader in preventing such tragedies at other live events in the future. Do you guys honestly think that Travis deserves all of this in spite of everything that's happened? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!